Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachux and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we they see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop all over the world. So for now, no start with today's news. Alright, so yesterday Arsenal beat Liverpool 3-1 again for the match of play at the Emirates. I'm gonna say the stakes for that match they very very high because Arsenal actually needed to win to close the gap between we and Liverpool to make sure that gap remain two points moving forward again because the title race done the heat up. So when we see the lineup, a lot of people were very very skeptical, were very very worried. People like me again because when I see Jorginho, what was the last time Jorginho started for Arsenal? We see say Gabriel Jesus don't get injured, you know, when they're available for the match. And bear in mind, say Gabriel Jesus they come from the back of a scintillating form. When the guys the score goes are plenty, give assists, so we are very, very happy thinking he was going to play. After all, I think I don't promise us say in the okay. All of a sudden, what the guy say the guy can't get some kind of injury for training, setback gets. So Kahavaros was asked to go and deputize for him. So when the match starts, let's speak about the fear, but as the match starts, come on, we enter Liverpool because we are playing at home in front of our 12, uh, our 12 men who will be our fans. So we display very well. Liverpool in the entire 45 minutes for the first half had no shots on goal. Like we dominated proceedings, only so we don't get plenty, plenty goals to actually tell the true story. So at the end of the day, we scored our first goal, but sadly, we can't do mistake. Uh, miscommunication from Raya and uh, I think Saliba and Raya I guess now get the miscommunication will make us no call actually keep that one zero lead for the first half it was a painful pill to swallow second half Liverpool come aside then firing on us in that first 10-15 minutes the entire house back 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 but as gods will have it that's a come to their own mistake Benjamin Dyke and Alison Alison Becker made a mistake miscommunication and Martinelli Baba boss next get so 2 1 before you know Trossard enter finish off everything everything can end 3 1 and then that celebrated like crazy and then that run an entire mile they celebrated the fans like the, the, the atmosphere at the Emirates Stadium it was ecstatic it was it was it was I don't know how they put that like the fans came alive you get everyone was electrifying I don't even know the right adjectives to qualify the way the atmosphere be and the way me too while the watch I was feeling so everything go very very well for us so we we'll just give kudos to some players this is Kai Havertz that guy despite all the criticism so many people they talk the lack of fit when we get here in the he actually live up to his own plate gets the guy played very well, committed a lot of Liverpool players. In fact, Benjamin Van Dijk, Brian Konate, they could not handle him. So for those who they clamor before the match, so why they not play Edin Keta? Do you think Edin Keta would have handled the likes of Brian Konate and Benjamin Van Dijk in the physical battle the way Havertz did it? So I would say for me, Havertz did a fantastic job. If not for Havertz, you see, there were some penalty appeals. Let me say on a good day with another referee could have got a penalty. I commit all those players with the color red card. See Brian Konate, red card went out. Like Havertz got so many fouls in that match. Come on, Havertz, Jorginho, man of the match performance. This guy, he played fantastically all the way they played that yesterday. In fact, people were worried, say, ah, the guy don't get game time, they don't think, but he entered and slotted him perfectly. Like I said, he never, he never come out for the lineup he gets. He would declarize their performance for that match, top notch, like a given to them. And David Raya, we must start giving him his flowers because early in the season, when he just come, he was taking in so much flack. People they criticize him. Now when they do well, why don't you praise him with the same energy? You get one that they criticize him in the beginning. So I would say the guy he don't balance. Now now we don't understand say nine be the number one. No more arguments. Nobody the phone and the drag in position. He don't settle. Those panic. All those one. He don't die. And he gets some guy through of a fast throw. When they throw to launch counter, oh no, that guy said the guy they try. They play very very well for us so our back line also forget about the mistake with Saliba do but look at the match holistically the entire 90 minutes Saliba the Roman Gales, kept Liverpool quiet this is a team maybe say they did very very formidable in their attack and they kept them very very quiet like I think go on and on and another thing I want to talk I think I need to know what thing will do for Ben White for the way Ben White they concede needless yellow cards through the lanes okay now what's in at the end I'll be saying Ben White don't I'm, uh, accumulate five yellow cards because they'll be missing the Western match and most of those yellow cards, not the same, are through rough play, are through needless delays from throwing and restarts. 
So it is what it is. Number one analysis of the match overall, we played well, and the title race is blown wide open. So let's proceed. All right, so Jurgen Klopp for your own press conference after the match. So Baba Kondo say Arsenal actually deserved their three points. You get. But you say Arsenal started better. Say them no really play enough. You get. At the same time, Baba Kondo lament say everything went against them. All the 50-50 duels, the officiating. Say the Anthony Taylor no really look their side. Like Baba complained a whole lot. But I like the fact say at the end of the day. He considered the fact that Arsenal deserved a trip. In fact, he can't even go back in time. Because just for the FA Cup, Arsenal even actually created more chances in the first half than they created in this first half of the match of players. They only say Arsenal no convert those ones, but this one, Arsenal convert them. And in fact, now Arsenal scored the whole four goals. Because Liverpool don't score anything. You get Liverpool don't get some kind of players who don't cover Thiago Alcantara, Trent Alexander Arnold, and the likes. So only God know how the title race will continue to go. So all eyes now are on Man City versus Brentford. So people will forget say Man City. They lose against Brentford last season. Oh man, they win. So are we going to be seeing a repeat of what happened last season? This season? Well, let's go. We'll find out. All right. So the Daily Mirror, Kokoba Sakonito say, Party is expected to leave the club at the end of the season. And remember, I said Thomas Party get one year left on his contract. And this season as a whole, the Osparte just gave us only five appearances. In fact, based on what happened yesterday, eh, I, go, I, I, I go agree, say so it is high time the likes of Gabriel Jesus and the likes of Thomas Partey leave Arsenal at the end of the season because they again niggling injury problems that is consistent. And we cannot continue to bear the brunt of these that injury challenges. You know, will make any sense. Imagine what we need the most. Imagine. A whole season so not play more than 20 something days, but they got only five appearances because of injury. You would have to say not the comeback before you know you will get another setback, just like the Jesus. The same knee, the same knee. So I think it is high time. Look at the manager like this. This season end. Once season don't end, there is no excuse for Ateta to say he no will go find a replacement. Yes. Even if they will see the Arsenal, make them not be our focal points because if they are our focal points, they will disappoint us when we need them the most. Especially that Thomas Party, that one, in short, in, in movement, don't be sure lie. At the end of the season, I see no reason why you should stay be here. Guarantee sure lie. But more just the watch. Now, this Ateta, I know just know. But based on say the guy get one, one year left on his contract, and we never hear any talk of an extension. That one, they only let me know, say, it already go. Alright, so Mikel Ateta also come come and say, I can talk, say, CM. Say so whenever we have everyone available to play, eh, we are a good team. And when I thought I made that statement yesterday, I actually concur 100 percent Say if our team completes all these players, we are gonna register, say they complete 100 percent at J we don't get any problem, you get because every every position will be very, very solid, but because of injuries. Come miss a whole lot of players. So now what's in the affect us? But the little ones we'll get, I think I see the manager to give us results. Look at this Ben White now we go miss um, this uh, Western match. Our saving grace and the fact that Tomiyasu don't come out for Asian Cup, Japan don't jack, Iran knock them. So by that time, he will not come and today, tomorrow, Tomiyasu will not come back to London. So Ben White will rest, Tomiyasu will slot in. So nobody really miss in presence. So that's just it. Alright, so the British media then said, Come, come, say, come, the para said, Way, way, Ateta celebrates. Say, now, nah, over celebration, it's too much. Jamie Carragher, come, say, they talking on. Say, why all the guys with a snap picture for the stadium? Say, making go down the tunnel, like even Richard Keys. Say, why Ateta would they run up and down? <laughs> He's supposed to de de get dignity. He get this, should be disciplined. Carragher say, Celebrate, but celebrate in a disciplined way because we beat their, their favorite Liverpool. You see him? Most of the things that they do, club they do. I think that celebrated, mm, mm, mm. club they do, and normal nobody they talk about that. It has because now ask now if to say that a Liverpool manager, call they celebrate like this, or a Manchester United manager, or maybe in there for Brighton, call they celebrate like this, nobody will bat an eye. You get, but because Ateta is doing some marvelous things at Arsenal, the hatred when many of these our rival fans get for Arsenal, it is crazy. You get so if Ateta does all those things, then they did leave it like they day angry. So why go to celebrate? Why go to win too much? You get look at Liverpool. I want to check historical data. Do you know this isn't Liverpool against teams in the top six? Liverpool don't play like maybe seven matches or thereabout. Now only one they win, only one. 
they will struggle. So if now Arsenal be like that, everybody will run the talk for the national media, yeah, 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 this and that. But look at how they are bashing at it about it and all saying them, about they celebrate. The media that they hype this game to become the biggest game of the season for Arsenal. Put carry the hype, go up, say if Arsenal lose this game, see the title hopes is dead. Then Liverpool need to test their title credentials. This is not carry the game, go up, turn up one pedestal, hoping that Liverpool will win. At the end of the day, as Arsenal win, they only vex. They don't like as Arsenal they celebrate because we beat their darling favorite title winning team. You get, but they never say anything. Now the title race just starts. All right, so that arrives, come come and say, say, Ateta lives on the pitch with us. He's our manager. He leaves every ball with us. We are really grateful we have him as our manager. So, back on the explain, so when you look into what Ateta they do, I see them for that touchline. They give them ginger. Like, first if you do your back, you don't go know, Ateta will call you, hey, that guy did your back. All oh, those kind of levels you get. So, in they really help them to so be aware, self awareness, you get. And I don't know what I'm observing what's happened one time. It's a bubble for throwing. I just carry the ball quickly, give our player. When I was a joke, I remember I didn't give. Then I throw the ball sharply. We almost won't go score if we come below, say, na foul throw. That is what Ateta does get. So you say all those players after that they did for the sideline, they ginger them. So the thing they really help them get. At the same time, they currently praise Arsenal fans for what they do yesterday. Alright, so Mikel Ateta also come come and say, I say our connection with the supporters has gone to a new level because together we are a force because I think I say the, the atmosphere was another thing we never experienced because the fans really really came alive you see one thing about fans eh? you don't force fans to support you if you play very well the fans will naturally be at your side they will praise you, they will chant, they will sing with joy. You get so don't be by threatening and say if you don't give you no one sing, nobody know where at the stadium. No, they will sing naturally for you. The atmosphere at the Emirates Stadium yesterday was on another, like a whole different level because everybody understand the stakes and the stakes were very, very high that yesterday. After that first goal, sure, I was supposed to have first half, supposed to punish them the more, but it is always look at that cross with Martin, then they give with Saka field to another. Like, there's so many chances that went begging. So, it is what it is, yeah. Alright, now, so moving on. So, Kolo Toure, waiting for Pondi duty, he was at the Emirates Stadium. So, they're going to ask him questions, say, how he takes see the match. So, Baba Kondi say, Arsenal actually wanted to win more than Liverpool, which is something unusual because Liverpool won't win the title. So, you're supposed to turn up home or away. Not only for the Anfield, you will turn up. As you did away, you're supposed to come to the party and perform. In fact, before this match, Many people don't already talk, say Arsenal go beat Liverpool. At some point, I was scared, say, as they overhype Arsenal, it gets us a bit. Do you know that Liverpool coach uh, Jurgen Klopp came outside and said, almost everyone, apart from Liverpool fans, expect us to go to the Emirates Stadium and lose? There's a reason people feel Liverpool go there and lose. It goes to show the character of Arsenal, it goes to show our pedigree, our antecedents, what we are known for. People know how good we are. In fact, I will argue, say all these 19 teams for the EPL with us 20, if they want to play with us and come out toe to toe, match us and Liverpool match us, AJ 90 times out of 100 they will collect. But because then they fear us, then they respect us, they know what we are bringing to the table. That is why they set up against us with a low block. Now, out of respect, they play low block against us. Don't be saying because we don't know what to do. And when they set up low block, you can't be like Sasta, don't know what they do. If they come outside, there will be some exceptions. Like maybe West Ham, or yeah, we'll go dominate, then they will score at the end of the day. But exceptions don't negate the general rule. The general rule is that if teams come out to play with us, say man for man, toe to toe, even Man City will testify what to do them this season. She not community, she won't talk. She not the league, you won't talk. Come out one v one for us, we go collect. That's the general rule. So that's why people they hide. They don't like to come outside. So I don't know what well, it is. What it is, yeah. All right. So cut offside. Come come outside. Let us to say Arsenal don't actually meet the representatives of uh, Osime. So the reason to sign the guy to discuss the move. Get okay, so everything on the go fast, 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 but. Who we'll just watch the, the summer transfer window is still early, so all this kind of news. Well, we we'll just take out the pinch of salt. Now, when this is not end, and we collect our Champions League slot, because if you don't get Champions League slots, nobody will reason you. There's no Osimhen will come out of Champions League. There's no way Ivan Tony will come out of Champions League. So we'll finish for the top four first, and then we'll see what the summer holds.
All right, so for those who don't even be aware, do you know that Liverpool have lost two out of the last 34 league games? For you to know how difficult it is to beat this Liverpool side, the last time they lost was September last year. Get 34 games, they lost two out of that two. We beat them one this season, home and away for the league. We draw Liverpool for their own side, we knock them for our own side. Even the cup, so we we'll knock them again, make it be seen our back to back to back wins. But they just get lucky, say we'll create chances and we know bury them. So for you to understand that Arsenal, we don't be small club, oh. forget all these small, small errors we'll do here and there. Oh. We don't be small club, oh. so the earlier the, you know this, the better. But those people say Arsenal, a baby coach, I attend a baby coach, I attend a this. What did that man they do yesterday? He proved to us that he knows his business. In as much as we talk, so why go this, Jojo? Why go this, Kyra? The guy they proved to us daily. Hey, I know what thing they do. Look at the changes in media today. The guy, oh my, I did come up for him, oh, guy. Ah. All right, even then, uh, Andy Murray, come come and say, I can't blast them, Pierre Smogan, based on the way we the guy they talk in the past about us, that person say, what is really talk? I think I do this. I think I don't do this. Say, I just hope, say, maybe Arsenal will come hire you as a manager. Maybe you can show us that your coaching pedigree. This is not today for studio they talk. When you come there, you will not say no easy. You get <laughs> no easy. This is Gary Neville. We don't have Gary Neville. I've been a few Neville. He coach for Valencia. He said, don't get your own history. Say, we don't be to talk for studio. You don't go for there. He collects back, back, back. They fire him. Look at where Rooney. Birmingham don't fire him after many, many losses now. Now they're in Saudi Arabia. You know what? To come for studio, come to young dust. Easy. Talk is cheap. But enter the field. Who coach you and say, they're going to say, bye bye, you know, easy. All right, my dear, I still love myself. If you don't watch yesterday, you check the top left corner of the screen. You'll see the thumbnail. You know. Click on so that you got all that snap update as they drop all over the world. So it's actually signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And get out.